and what all expenses can this trust pay for? Okay, so um, the trust will pay for anything but fun, food, or fashion. So you have all this income coming in, and it's getting tax deferred, and you want to use it. You don't right. want it sitting there for your beneficiaries. This may be your retirement. Mm-hmm. So you sell your primary residence to the trust. You have this infusion of cash coming in, and then it pays for all of your primary residence expenses pre-tax instead of post-tax. So you, if you have a mortgage on it, it pays for the mortgage, your property taxes, your insurance, upkeep, utilities, improvement. All of that can be paid for by the trust mm. with the trust income that's tax deferred, which is huge because, you know, most of us are paying, you know, are those bills after we pay the government the taxes, right? right? But now that's a trust expense. If you sell your cars to the trust, I recently paid a $2,300 repair bill for my Honda Pilot. Mm -hmm. I cut that from the trust. Mm. So I could take care of that. The trust can own your life insurance policies and be the beneficiary. So it pays for your life insurance. It pays for your health insurance. My appointment before this, I had back therapy. The trust paid for it. I see. So as long as it's not fun, food, or fashion, the trust can pay for it. For children up to age 21, it can pay for their food and their fashion. And so that's, um, there's a lot. If your trust owns your cell phone, the trust pays the bills. Mm. So again, your utilities, you know, if you have a pool guy because you have a swimming pool, that's part of your real estate. So it can take care of a lot of your bills. So that's how you make your money go farther and grow your estate. Check the full episode on our YouTube channel and on Apple Podcast.